Hey guys, if you're looking for an easy do-it-yourself way to build pipe fencing during, during a burn ban, or you don't know how to weld, in this video I'm gonna show you exactly how. Stay tuned. All right, if there's no welding required, well, what tools do you need? Well, to put this all together, all you're gonna need is a little simple wrench, particularly a 9 16 a socket set 9 16 but to make it even go faster, impact drill with a, and a socket adapter um, with a 9 16 socket, make it go super quick, a nice level, and a tape measure to measure your rails and your posts. And uh, the last thing really all you're gonna need is a saw. So whether it's a, a grinder, a sawzall, a bandsaw, to cut your post, it's gonna be a straight cut. So easy to do. Let's jump on in and show you step by step on how to build this with no welding required. So your first step on setting and, and building out this railed fence is obviously set your post. We're not gonna go into detail on setting these posts. We've got these preset already. There's a link um, somewhere around here. Click the link to watch the video if you wanna see how to set posts. So your next step, we've also done a lot of videos on coping, notching, or saddling your pipe if you're gonna weld. Now that's a great option if you know how to weld, but if not, this is the solution. So one, you don't have to notch, and two, you don't have to weld. Saves a ton of time. And what you're gonna need for that is one of our kits that we sell here at Seven Peaks Fence and Barn. And there's a few different pieces. So you're gonna have to decide and figure out what exactly you need. Decide on the layout and what piece you need. So we've got one, a terminal end, one that's gonna end at the end of your post, at the end of your fence line, and uh, it's gonna look like that. And, uh, and we're gonna show you more in depth on, on how it all goes together, but that's the terminal, okay? We're also gonna have an inline, okay? So you're gonna have two rails that go through a post. Okay, it's gonna look something like that when we're finished. We also are gonna have a 90 degree, okay? So it's gonna look like that. So you got a corner, you're working on a corner. Well, we're gonna have something for that as well. Now you can do this for the top rail. You can do this for multiple rails. So whether you want two, three, four rail, you can add as many as you want. You can use it the top rail, add continuous fence, or you could add top rail no climb. If you want some wired for your smaller animals, great option here, no welding required. If there's a burn ban, you can do this and get your fencing up during the summer, hot summer months. Great, great option, guys. So um, decide where you need different pieces. So the terminal, the inline, or the 90 degree corner, purchase these pieces. Now there's gonna be a link in the description for you to go purchase these for yourself after you've laid it all out and figured out what you need. Okay, you're also gonna need some rails. So you can go pick up um, some two and three eighths at one of your local steel yards, okay? So go grab that. We also supply that here. So if you need some two and three eighths, um, give us a call as well as these pieces. We can sell you all of it, okay? So get your, your enough pipe for you to do all the fencing that you need. So we also have a calculator to figure out how much, um, basically how long, how many linear feet of fencing you're gonna do. Um, if not, just pull out a rolling tape measure and measure it and we'll be able to help you out with exactly what you need. The next step, we're gonna have to measure in between each post. Okay, and with these connectors, you're gonna take off an inch and a half on each side of your post. So that's actually gonna be a total of three inches you're gonna subtract if you have a connector on both sides, which you always should. Um, so you're gonna cut off three inches. So I just measured here. Let's see, we're at, it's a windy day here in Texas, as always. So we're at about 58 and three quarters. So I'd take off three inches. So I'd go to 55 and three quarters. Okay, and I just cut a straight cut and I've already got these pre-cut. So a straight cut, as you can see here. Okay, 55 and three quarters, straight cut. That is all you need when building this and putting it together. So you just saw everything you need. Pipe, your connectors, and we're gonna show you exactly how these go together right now. So let's do that. All right, so we're gonna get our tape measure and a marker here. And really, this is gonna be the start of installing these these connectors here. You really just want to kind of get a gauge. This isn't going to be the exact spot because we want to make sure it's level 
um, or look well with the lay of the land, but we're gonna want a five foot fence. Okay, say you got some five foot no climb, say you got some continuous fence, or say you wanna do a you know four rail or a three rail fence for your horses, five foot fence is a great option. If you wanna go higher, definitely mark that out. If you wanna go lower, mark that out here. So I'm gonna mark all of these at five feet to give us kind of a starter mark where we need to be. Okay, five, fin five feet. All right, now the reason why you want to have a mark is really you need to have these bands. So you got, what comes with each of these kits is a band, carriage bolt, and your nut. So you got two nuts on each side and then you're also going to have one more nut for the final. We'll show you how that goes. But this is where you're going to start off and you're going to slide it over your post. Now as you can see here, we used a post driver on this one and when you post drive, it's going to mess with your post just a little bit. So be sure if you do drive some posts, get um, something to cut it off, especially for the end if you've got a cap, okay? So you've got your band and you've got your sleeve piece, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is I'm gonna set this basically at the middle of our five foot mark there. I like to have the carriage bolt head so you can see here, in the front, okay? You want that in the front, okay? So I'm gonna put basically a nut about, oh, three quarters or an inch in. Okay, you're gonna go through. You're gonna get the other bolt on this side. And these have to be tight, but we're not gonna go tight all the way quite yet. This is just gonna be a gauge to see where we need to be and basically for level on our rail. So just a reminder, because everybody tells me this, for uh, your rails, that's gonna be level. For your post, that's gonna be plumb. Just a little tip there for you guys. All right, I just got this one somewhat tight. Um, so we're gonna move on to the next one. Now you can see on this one, it is a terminal end basically of your of your fence line. So this is gonna end here, and this is gonna be your end line. Okay, I'm gonna show you how that works on this one right here. So we're gonna go to the five foot mark as well here. And this one goes right on that five foot mark. Same thing, carriage bolt, we got a nut. Carriage bolt, nut, and a nut on this side. This is gonna tighten it right here where we want it. But before we go any further, we're gonna put the posts on, or the rail, excuse me, and we're gonna see if it is level and see if it's where we want it. Cause if it's not, we're gonna have to adjust these down. So you have to basically adjust these where you want them without your sleeve on and the, and the rail on, which um, you wanna make sure you've got where you want it before you go too far and get it all the way tight. Or... All right, we got our terminal in, it's tight on there we got our inline band tight at five feet okay so now you've got your two sleeve pieces okay so you can see here they've got little slits they're gonna slide over your carriage bolt on both ends and it's gonna slide over your pipe so right here you see this this is our piece we cut that was three inches short and you'll see right here the reason three foot or three inches, excuse me, not three feet, it fits right in here perfectly. You see that? If it was any further, you wouldn't be able to get in here and it would be really hard to put this fence, this, this rail on. So you're gonna slide it over your piece and slide it over the carriage bolt and you're gonna slide it over on this end as well, okay? And it's gonna actually hold itself, see that? Now, what I wanna do is make sure this is where I want it, okay? So this is what we're gonna use the level for. And if you see that, that's pretty dang level right there. All right, so now we got it level where we want it. Now, it always doesn't have to be level. Say your ground just has a lot of hills and, and unlevel ground. Follow the lay of the ground, and that's gonna help you, especially when you're doing wired fencing. 
your wire is always going to be five feet so you're going to want your fence always five feet so um, it's going to depend on the project but once you got it level you're going to take this rail back off and this is where you make sure these band pieces are fully tight how you want them you want them tight and if you see right here this little piece on the carriage bolt you want that squared and you want it flush on the top if it's angled like this it's not going to go on very easily okay so make sure you're squared just like that but i'm going to tighten it as much as i can get that sucker tight and uh, we'll put our sleeves on and our rail fully so this would be helpful to have two um, wrenches to tighten both ends right here but I only brought one of course so two wrenches would be helpful little tip hey guys if you like what you see in these videos be sure to like and subscribe for more great horse and livestock do-it-yourself fencing thanks guys now we're gonna tighten our inline one again have two wrenches um, and make sure your carriage bolt is flat on the top and it's turning, but the actual other nut isn't turning, so that's good. It's it's getting it really tight. There, see that's flat, just like that. And we'll do this other side. All right, so now we're gonna get get our rail again. We're gonna get our sleeve pieces, put it back up here. So those those bands are tight. And now we're going to have these different type of nuts. These are, they got some slots on the back side to keep it nice and tight. So we're going to hand tighten this on there. Okay, we're going to kind of get it somewhat tight. And we're going to want to double check that before we go too far again. Let's double check level. Or if it's where we want it, pretty dang good. So we're going to leave it there. We're going to tighten it. All the way down, lock that bad boy down. All right, so now that I got this first one done, we're gonna move down and continue down our fence line. But honestly, to make it the fastest and efficient, most efficient, I would go through and put all of my bands at five feet. And, uh, and if I was doing rails, I had measure down from there, from level, and uh, put my rails from there. So you can see here, this is another terminal end right here. And uh, so the difference you can see there, terminal is this band that just wraps around and has one bolt and nuts. This one over here, it comes all the way around and has nuts and bolts on both sides. That's gonna be our inline. And we're gonna show you a 90 degree here shortly. But we're right here at five feet. We're gonna get this one on. All right, we just got our, our band over here put on, and uh, I got the sleeve piece on. We got our other sleeve piece onto the other band, and that's gonna line up real nice with the other rail because it's matched up here, so that's gonna be perfect. Now we obviously wanna keep going down the line level, so we're gonna see where we're at. We're quite a bit lower here because I think we dip in the ground over here, so we're gonna need to lift that up. Oh, a good inch or so. So I'm gonna lift that up. So that's where you need to check it and make sure that if you do need to, before you get this band too tight, so you can loosen it up and move it as much as you need. All right, now that I just adjusted it up on this side, we're pretty dang level. Now we're gonna get our last nut on the outside. We're gonna tighten that bad boy on there. And man, let's see. Not too bad. All right, guys, we just showed you three posts and two different options, our inline and our terminal, the end connector. Now we're gonna show you um, the 90 degree. And uh, if you don't need the 90 degree, keep going. Keep adding as many of these as you need. Um, you can go as much as you want, as many rails, as far as you want using these connectors, super easy. These literally take us like a minute each or less. They're super fast, 
But well, let's show you the 90 real quick and how that one works. 90 degree, you're gonna need this band that obviously has, it's the terminal end with the welded other piece um, that's gonna come with your carriage bolt and nut here. So, um, so what you're gonna do, we're gonna go to our five foot mark here. And you can see again here, you go about halfway with your nut, uh, your carriage bolt on your and your nut. And then same thing here, we're gonna go about halfway. So let's get this tightened. So 90 degrees is really simple, it's just like the other two. It's just obviously you're going to a 90 degree angle. So let's tighten this bad boy up. And then we're gonna go behind me, we're gonna do that at five foot as well. All right, so this is our mark. So obviously we have a terminal end here, but if you're gonna keep going, you're gonna have probably an inline or maybe another 90 degree. Whatever you're doing, make sure you got the right piece and make sure your, your nut and bolt and this connection here is going inwards towards your other rail. That's where you know you're gonna be connecting your rails is by this piece here. So if there's no nut and bolt or this connection here, like on this side, obviously there's not gonna be a rail here. So, so we can get this tight or just tight enough just to see and double check level. We're gonna get these pieces on now. You can see how nice and easy these go on. Okay, so we'll set that one there for now. We'll get our sleeve pieces and go over this piece again, just to remind you. You're gonna measure in between your posts. Okay, and you're gonna cut off three inches off whatever size, whatever size two and three eighths or whatever size um, pipe you've got, which these colors are only for two and three eighths. So um, you're gonna take off three inches in between your, see if we're level. Oh yeah, we're money right there. Money, pretty dang money there. So once we get this all tight, this is gonna look real nice. All right guys, we just showed you how to do a terminal and an end sleeve connector. We also showed you an inline. This is a 90 degree right here. So you can make your corner, say you wanted an H brace or a corner brace, right here would be perfect for if you were doing barbed wire, wired fencing, and you just wanted some nice solid corner um, pipe fencing, and you didn't know how to weld, or there was a no band, uh, a burn band, you could do this um, whenever those cases came about. So this is 90 degree, we're gonna dive in, we're gonna show you how to add more rails here. You can do this for as many rails, as long as you want, as far as you want, super easy, it's quick to put together, but let's uh, show you exactly what a few additional rails looks like. It's turning out really slick, so stay tuned for that. All right, we're gonna do a three rail fence right here. Now, to get started, um, you're gonna need to put all the bands on here at once, or if not all at once, you need to start with the bottom one first, okay? Um, that's gonna make it the easiest, because if you have the top rail on to get these over and to the bottom where you need it. Um, you're starting off with like an inch and have to go two and three eighths. It'll really expand this out, which is doable, but it's gonna be easier when you start start from the bottom. Okay, now I already have my mark of exactly level of how I want it. Um, so I've marked out where my three rails are. If I'm breaking it in between five feet, I'm somewhere in between 20 inches per, per rail. So that's where I'm gonna be at. Um, depending on how many rails you're gonna do, it all just depends and the layout on how you want it, but that's how I'm gonna do it right now. So I just got, now I said you had to have all of these on or start from the bottom. So if you can see here, I put them all on and I started with the top. Top is where I wanted to figure out the right height and the level. Um, and then I came down to my second one. I went down 20 inches here. Like I said, everybody's height and rail distance between rails is going to be different so um, this is going to be for a three rail so I just went with uh, 20 inches we'll see how it turns out it should look pretty nice but again you want to start with the nut basically halfway through your carriage bolt 
or about a you know an inch or so and uh, you're gonna put your second second nut on and then you're going to want to get this tight you can always get it adjusted just a little bit to where it will hold and then you can put it up put your rails up and then see how it looks and then you're going to want to take those off and then come back and get it low so i'm not going to go terribly too tight in case i got to adjust anything but even then it's your fence you can make it look how you want it can see here we just finished our three rail literally took us about 10 15 minutes if that not long at all the hardest part probably was getting these these uh, bands lined up in the right spot and tightened and then literally you you measure in between your posts get uh, that measurement cut your your rail three inches shorter throw the sleeves on throw them over your nuts and bolts and you've got a three rail fence once it's all tight it's uh, super sturdy. Um, I am really impressed at these, uh, this hardware. I'm super excited that I found this. Hopefully it can help one of you guys out on your next fencing project, especially during a burn ban. If you need to build fence during a burn ban or, or you just don't want to learn how to weld, this hardware is going to save you from both of those things. So um, great for H braces, great for doing a top rail, adding no climb. You can add a top, do a top rail add continuous fence, um, wire, barbed wire, um, a corner, say you need to do a corner post with your barbed wire. So many options here guys that you can use this hardware for. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for our next video where we will show you some more tips on do-it-yourself fencing uh, for horses and livestock. So thank you guys. See you in the next one. <music>